had some people asking me what's going on in the market and what I expect to happen. And I've seen some folks making predictions as well. And there was one prediction that someone made that moved me to make this video. And that prediction was that the market is going to crash just like it did in the Great Recession. And this bubble is going to pop and people are going to lose their homes like crazy. Do I think that's going to happen? No. I am Lisa Jones, broker and owner of Vantage Point Realty. I've been selling real estate in Central Florida since 2007. And here's my market predictions. I believe that this market is going to continue to move as briskly as it has been through the rest of this year. Inventory is extremely tight. Interest rates are still really low. Uh, people are buying. There's mad competition going on for homes in many different price points right now. And that is going to continue through the end of the year. Even if interest rates rise, I believe that this is going to continue because there's so much competition in different price points that there will be enough people that will be able to remain in the market um, to purchase, <clears throat> even if interest rates go up to 4%. And unfortunately, some people, if the interest rates go up to 4%, will be squeezed out of purchasing because the higher an interest rate is, the higher your payment is going to be. Um, but um, again, there's going to be enough activity in the marketplace for this to continue uh, where, we, where we've been. Another reason I do not see a market crash coming is because although we've got a number of, of, of people that have their mortgage in forbearance, that is only 4.5% of folks that hold mortgages. And a big chunk of those people have government backed loans where the government has already said that we do not want to foreclose on you folks. We're not going to add any penalties to this. We just want the money that's owed. You can add it onto the back end of your loan. You can increase your payments. We've got options available for you. We don't want to take your home. Are some of these people going to lose their homes? Probably because unfortunately not everyone is returning to work or maybe people are, are going to be able to um, return to work to the capacity or the income level that they were previously. However, so many people have equity in their homes right now, so much equity in homes right now. That's another record number. We're seeing record amounts of equity in people's homes because Values have continued to rise steadily since 2014, and people are staying in their homes much longer than they used to. So we've got that going on. So if someone's in a pinch, they can sell their home before going into foreclosure or even during the, 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 the beginnings parts of the foreclosure process. You know, they can still sell their home and likely even walk away with a few dollars because they may have some equity depending on how long that they've been in, in their home. So there's that as well. People are going to have that opportunity to sell before it's too late. Will some people wait too long and, and catch a short end of the stick and be caught in an awful situation where they have to uh, lose their home? Yes, that is going to happen but it's not going to happen to the extent that it happened in 2008. Now, those other folks that don't have the government-backed loans, uh, the government has already told the lenders that, you know that this forbearance period is going to end. You need to make arrangements now. You need to put a plan in place so these people can stay in their homes. So that way you're modifying mortgages, you're doing the things that you need to do because we do not want to have a foreclosure crisis like we have. So the government has already told lenders to get their act together, make sure you've got a plan in place. We're not playing around. This isn't 2008. We're not, we don't want to see that again. So hopefully the lenders are, are actually making those preparations and doing the things that they need to. And again, yes, some people are going to lose their homes. I do not believe that it's going to be anywhere near the extent that, um, we saw previously. And even, well, I'm saying even if it is, but it's not going to be. Another difference here is that um, lenders learned during the Great Recession that flooding the market with all of the homes that they own at once is not the way to do it. When this first st started in 08, that's what lenders did. They just flooded the market. And then they realized, hey, if we taper this, if we put these houses on the market, 
you know, in, 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 a, in a more controlled fashion, we can dictate where the prices are. We can keep the market from crashing any further. And that's exactly what they did. You know, banks will own homes for a long time sometimes before they release them to the market. And if that happens again, that is exactly what they're going to do. And when do I expect that this to happen? Well, once a house is, once a buyer stops, a homeowner stops making their mortgage payments, it typically takes about three to six months for the lender to start the foreclosure process. And that takes time as well. So what I'm expecting to happen is probably towards the middle to end of 2022, we're going to see more homes going back to banks. And um, we're going to see probably a bit of return to normalcy or the beginning of a return to normalcy with our market with, you know, l less competition, more listings and, you know, folks being able to breathe a little bit in the home buying process um, because there'll be a little bit more homes to choose from. And the value climbs will not be as aggressive as they have been this past year plus. It's been absolutely amazing to see how much these homes have been um, accruing value month over month here. And uh, that's I, I do suspect that that is going to slow down as well in 2022 towards the middle and we'll definitely see a, 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 a more of a return to, to normalcy towards the end of 2022. Is it going to be a market crash? No, it's going to be an adjustment, which is what happens. Markets correct themselves. Um, but I don't think there's going to be a huge correction here because again, this is not 2008, what we're, what we're living through right now. Are there a lot of similarities? Yes. But there's enough differences and the differences are important enough that it's not going to create the same thing that we saw previously. That's my take on it. That's what I'm expecting to happen. I hope you enjoyed this information and I hope that you reach out to me if there's anything that you're in interested in learning about or would like to know about real estate. If I've got the answers, I'll be more than happy to provide them. And if I don't, I will send you to the person that does because Knowledge is power, and I believe that with all my heart. Thank you so much for tuning in. If there's anything I can do, reach out. Lisa Jones, Vantage Point Realty. I am here to help for sure. Bye now.